All right. What's up? What's up, y'all? Um, I got the camera on the other side, so I really can't see how I look. But y'all just saw that's what my biological father um, was a narcissist. He left that outside of the hotel room that I'm at. Because he's literally like hotel rooms down before because I got the hell away from him. I'm no contact. And now this is part of the hoovering. He tried to leave that box and stuff in there. You know. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? He tried to leave that stuff in there. It was just like anything I left there, bro, I really don't give a frick about. I don't know if you've been able to notice. But he knows that. He just wants to seem like he's giving something, giving something out. But, I mean, if that was the point, you know, you may say, oh, I left something there. But it's just like, but the thing is, that was the point. Why would he leave a note on the mirror? This is like many weeks ago. This is like weeks ago. When he says, what does it say? It says something like, it says, it says something like my birth name. Uh, and then he's it says one it says one one uh get one get a uh stop getting stop getting a key to this room I'm trying to relax y'all My dog may be telling me something, but I don't want to because it's kind of like I explain in the story. Hold on. Um, one, stop getting a key to this room. Two, clean up. Three, you. I feel like I've explained this in other videos. You guys remember what I wrote. What, what, I'm sorry. What he, I didn't write what he wrote, what I expressed. Um. And, um, uh, what the frick else he say? He said three. He said uh, two, clean up. And then something, four was like, wake up. Oh, no, three was stop being rude to people. And I said, what the frick? And I'm like, you're the one being rude. So one, you already told the silence that you don't want me coming back to the room. All right, I was done. I was it. I was done. And then now it's you guys trying to give me some stuff if you don't want me coming back to the place. So that's clearly you didn't want me to get the stuff. But now you're trying to get it and try to hoover it. And I guess trying to act like, I don't know, you're just desperate for attention. Um, but, you know, um, and then it was, a, it was a note in that box, too, that y'all saw at the beginning. I, it was the camera quality, and it was kind of like nighttime. I know y'all were able to pick it out. It said something like, your stuff here, something here's your stuff. The other stuff out is the bag. Uh, other stuff out there. He said he's going to be throwing away at 4.15 p.m. And it was like almost like an hour span. So I was just like such a short amount of time. The stuff going to be thrown away. So he thinks I work on his time. But I was just like, I could care less about that stuff if I left it. So you can go ahead and throw it away. I can, I can care less. Um, And one to, uh, I did feel some anger. It's kind of like, you know, all this passive aggressive stuff. I'm sorry if y'all can't see me. Like I said, I'm holding it from the other side. Uh, but all this other passive aggressive stuff is, is very cowardly. It's very weak. It's not my, um, it's not my initial language, not my first language as far as when it comes to communication. So it's like, it's just weakling. It's just a weakling. And I, and I, and I did, I will be lying if I said I didn't feel the urge to want to spit on him. You know, because it's like, I had to spit on you. You know, how dare you? Uh, but um, I'm glad, you know, because the mother freaking knows he's doing this at a mother freaking hotel. I don't know, he's trying to save or trying to save his chops or trying to prove a bitch. I'm, I'm, I don't want anything to do with your ass. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was my like, our first time seeing him, like, in I think a week or two, over a week. I did have to see him, and I, I'm, I'm sure he saw me, but he tried to act like he didn't see me. He knew where his room was at, I know that for sure, because you know he was camped out before. He was camped out to see what room we had. Camped out in the AM to see what room we had in a parking lot. 
on some stalker stuff. Uh, but you know, he's such a big mad mother fricker, you won't pull up and. But uh, but I'm gonna just leave that alone because he's just a loser. Because he, if he had something he really want to do, he would have dealt with it then when we were in the same vicinity. And then even when you abusing my dog and me, and it was just uh, okay. Cause um, but you know what too, and I'm noticing too as I'm telling y'all this. <laughs> Pardon. Um, let me switch hands. Um. Is that uh? I'm sorry. Pardon me, y'all. Is that um? You know that's the feeling that the narcissist is bringing. Those are his feelings. He's trying to bring towards me because I wasn't feeling like that. I was actually living uh, I was living better. Been living a lot better. I haven't had the stress feeling in my shoulders. You know, because every day was an everyday struggle to me. Like, is this day I, am I gonna kill this motherfucker? Is this the day I'm gonna kill this motherfucker? Or he do something to my dog? As if use my dog, I gotta kill him today. And it was very stressful. It was very, very stressful. Very, very bothersome. Um, and just someone who's such of a bitch, you know. It's like go back to all this passive aggressive stuff he was going like. And it's just and not my normal act of communication. Because if you want to communicate something directly to somebody, you use you, you you let it be known, you know. But. Uh, is indirect in the windows, but then when you address it, they become, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's this. Oh, I was just joking. It's just a joke. Oh, you need to relax. You're so emotional. You're, yeah, so you, you know, they never stand up, people. They put out that. You know, they sacrifice their own children instead of them. You know, they may say they won't, but they, but you know, they're not thorough. But um, yeah, here it is. Um, so I guess he wants to lead that and things. I'm posted like, oh, that's some treasured ice. It was really some rocks. It was you know, it was in Flint. You know, Flint has some beautiful rocks. So I went out in the forest and I caught some rocks. I've, I've gone out in the forest so many times. You guys know. Uh. So I uh, was some beautiful, there's some rocks I left because I can get more rocks. I wasn't even stressing. I left that, and he tried to get some rocks, and it was just like you guys saw it was in the thing. It was the quality wasn't the best. It wasn't really too much. Like it was, it was mostly rocks in a box, <laughs> and the other stuff he was talking about. It was like empty boxes from Amazon packages. Like nigga, I already got the package. What the frig is you talking to me for? Like what is you so worried about? You know what I'm saying? Just a bitch. Uh. Uh, you know, just a bunch of passive aggressive stuff. Um, by the way, it is day four of, of my hip, you know what I'm saying? But my hip, uh, you know, we're dang near there, we're dang near healed. Moving a lot better, mobility is better. Um, still got some ways to go. As far as, you know, probably like another day or so. I have been eating though, because I had some food I wanted to cook. Just prepared, so I did eat that or whatever, you know. Um, I probably could go, probably go fast for a day or something just to speed up the process. But I, you know, man's are doing things. And another thing too was kind of like this when you experience. I had to address it as far as like when you experience something, you know, so much traumatic is being with the narcissist, especially these your narcissist narcissistic parents. These motherfuckers have been around your whole life, you know. Um. And it's rather dramatic. So you, I think, I think right now I was kind of have to, you know, just kind of deal with things as they are. Deal with them playing. Dealing uh, as they deal with them playing and uh, feeling that. But it has been stuff going on. I've been getting harassed by staff here, and I have. Indirect, but it's a whole bunch of passive aggressive stuff too. This is what I was talking about. Like, once you leave one narcissist, there's another, you know? Um, <sighs> um but yeah, I think we're going to be leaving sooner than expected because we have to leave sooner than expected. They just, it's getting, it's getting, you know. 
I just don't do the passive aggressive stuff. You either got to see me direct or see me one way or see me another. Um, but I will say ever since the not, since leaving the narcissist, what's felt better is not having the stress of, because I think I noticed I used to always check by the door. I used to hear something because this mother freaking going to barge through the door. Is he going to barge through the door? He used to do that all the time just to disrupt my presence. Mm -hmm. Come in real fast. Like he, he didn't have nothing emergency or anything, but just come in real fast. In emergency, wanted to kick the by the door, try to move my dog out the way when he comes to see who's busting through the door. What a faggot. He's going to be a loser. He's going to be here his whole life. He's going to be here his whole life. He knows that. Faggot ass bitch. And I wanted to, too, I wanted to just point out again, like, you know, the whole point of him not, it wasn't me, it wasn't him giving me, trying to give me stuff. I didn't leave anything really of value. Like you can, that's why it was just like boxes. It was boxes. It, it was rocks in there. And then like a paper, whatever the hell was in there. You guys saw the shot. That's what I wanted to show you. He left it outside my door. Anyways. Mm-hmm. And I saw when he knocked, too, like, he didn't stay. He didn't stay. So he wasn't even there by the time I opened up the door. It wasn't long, so I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. You know, this is when the, the scenario command campaign commences, the victim mentality further commences. It's like, oh, it's him. He did this. He did all that. Listen, my nah, motherfucker. But yeah, that's one of the things I did after I was having a look for it. Like, is this person going to barge in? They're going to do that, trying to disrupt. I mean, it was just very irritating, you know, having somebody like who always wanted to freaking um, talk to you when you don't want to talk to them. I've made it very clear I went years without speaking to him. Talking about the gray rock method, I didn't outgrade it. It has no hue, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Um, but he just still kept trying to talk, still kept trying to communicate. I don't like you. And the mother freaking knows that. I'm just so sick and tired of him. I mean, golly, so much stress. Like, do I got to bash his head open? But yeah, it's like, once you leave one night, you got to leave the whole, because people talk about it. You got to leave your environment. Like, it's like frick. It's like almost like a system. Like, so many narcissists too. And it's just, it's just ridiculous. But yeah, we're gonna be out of here soon. I just gotta be out of here very soon and expect it. I mean, Cranny, how the hip the hip injury comes into play? Cause uh, I know I couldn't be moving, moving like as I wanted. Cause you know the hip, they carry stuff and move stuff. But I just think I, I can do this. I'll probably, if I can, I'll get somebody. You know, pay somebody to help me move to somewhere. You know what I'm saying? For the, I just gotta go out of state. I think, I do know I do. I think I got to stay at somewhere else, but I don't want to keep burning bread. I'm, I'm going to have to find some place. And then I, can, I think I can hire somebody off of what they call it, Craigslist or something. Help me move or something. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking and whatnot, y'all. Just trying to be transparent. Because, I mean, the people right here, like, especially with these narcissist channels or, you know, psychological health channels or whatever degrees, they don't, you don't know these motherfuckers. They don't express to you nothing. They don't tell you their story. They don't tell anybody. They do. They only talk about it once. And it's just like, oh, it's vague with it. It's just like, how do I know you can relate to me? How do I know this? How? Who are you? Who are you to say this? Who is that? That's just ridiculous, cuz. It's just freaking ridiculous, I swear to God.
uh, but people love it. People keep. I'm like, I don't know this motherfucker. And I'm like, you think if this motherfucker got a degree, they know something? They know it all? That's a motherfucking lie. I'll say it like that. And they just focus too much on the terminology in the incorrect way. Not as far as possessions and possessions. Because these motherfuckers will say, you're narcissist. No, narcissist is not mine. And they say, and they say my narcissist. No, I, I, I be telling people on that on their other channels, other videos, like, I don't know, narcissist is not ours. It's not our possession. The narcissist that belong to us. They're ones who she trying to belong to. She trying to be a part of our lives. They are not our lives, they are our property. They are the narcissist. People need to get that right. People need to get that right. Motherfuckers, I need to teach you how to talk right. And two is another thing, too, is these people like, I was going to say this for another video, but hey, since we on, we're going to keep going. Um, these narcissist videos, like, especially with these narcissists and dating, dating's one, it's awful. Like, they never tell you that. Like, I think they even robbing people with their consultations. I think they even robbing people with their consultations. Like, they don't tell them the grip, like, the real truth. They're like, okay. So they be like, so they be like, all right. Oh, so you dating a narcissist? And they're, they're like, oh, they're dating. So before, who you date is a narcissist? Who they, and before they date is narcissist. And they just keep dating narcissists. Or they dating a the narcissist. And I'm like, yo, what a, nobody's saying, what attracted you to that? What was the example set to you? Present, presence. Present in you in your childhood to now in your adulthood, which you find that you deem attractive now. What example was set? The motherfuckers don't like to be accountable for what's their parents. They don't like to be accountable for what their guardians. They want to say, oh, they're my parents. Oh, it's mom and dad, they love me. I'm, I'm like, man, if you ain't going to be, I can care less. Either you think they did it, but if you're not going to be really accountable, like, you're not going to go anywhere in life. Because I know people, they're in their 60s. They're not going anywhere in life. And they would talk about me. And they made fun of me because I was a... And they actually here, work at the front desk. Hey, you see, I freaking said it. And they said, that, oh, because two grown men... I'm part of me. I didn't know I was that grown. I was very, very young. Can't seem to get it together. Can't seem to get it right. Well, bitch, you out here with your abusive husband. And he be choking your ass. And you don't know if you're going to wake up and whatnot. And you have more money than you have a car, you have the poverty, and you could leave him, but yet you choose not to. My situation was my, my finance being played, and somebody st and he stole my car. Stole my car and wouldn't transfer the title on my name. So this is why I'm car shopping right now, looking for a car. And I will get a car. I'm getting some other things in line for it, but I ain't going to talk too much because we're just going to show. And we're just going to speak on it when it further happens, you dig? So... Yeah, you see us. We out of there too, by the way. Feels great. Um, because like, but like I said, you know, they don't want to ever talk about it. Oh, my parents, this. Oh, this, my parents is great. My parents. Mm-hmm. My parents, you know, it's like freaking ridiculous. They don't want to talk about their parents. You're not going to get anywhere. Yeah, not gonna get anywhere. It's just lack of accountability. But you know, I'm gonna say this: it's not your job to fix people. See, there isn't. You're not your job to be people's therapist. See, with us, we only want to help people that want to be helped. That's one of the most challenging things we had to learn. People may say they want to be helped, but their actions don't follow through with it. They speak with a fork, a fork tongue. You dig? But uh. Yeah, like I said, but you guys want to book a consultation? Send us an email at info alien to inspiration. They get the DM us on Instagram at alien to inspiration. Daily YouTube uploads. Check out the pale. Check out the artwork. Alien to inspiration dot com slash shop. You guys need to start a business. Need to entrepreneurship because nobody really wants to talk about how to go no contact. It's like, uh, just leave. But what about when you need finances? Hey, you gotta start a business in the Corona. The corona right now, or oh, I shouldn't have said Android 19 virus. <laughs> you know? I'm looking down at something. Okay. Uh, I realized something. But, um, um, you know, people don't want to talk about it with this corona. I'm sorry. Yeah. Android 19 
is that like the jobs ain't hiring. They're talking about they just to do another lockdown. And by the time y'all seeing it, it might be the lock another lockdown already happened. There's different lockdowns in other across the countries, other countries, other continents, and it's just like ridiculous. You know, in order to live in this society, you need money to live. So how are you going to generate some money? It's right now. It's your best example. You got the best excuse to start a business right now. You want to know how to go about it. You want to know how to do about it. You get on the course in the description box. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting energy. Stop wasting your sequence. Take action today. Peace, love, and light.